I changed as a general nurse, I sort of left school um, and uh, went straight into nursing. Loved every minute of it. I then became a midwife um, and then moved into neonatal intensive care, which then took me on a path to health visiting, which has been the majority of, of my career. Um, during that time, I obviously learned a lot about uh, child development, um, mainly in the under fives, but I also started to look at a lot around child behaviour um, and especially sleep. Um, that then took me into starting my own business as, um, as a private health visitor and became a, a sleep specialist and behaviour specialist. Um, and during that time I was dealing with you know, a lot of families who were struggling with child's behaviour and sleep and that sort of came into the realms of, of ADHD. So I started like thinking about um, ADHD. At the same time, I also um, did a master's in psychodynamic psychotherapy, which again took me back into the sort of whole neuroscience um, of, of brain development and, and reasons why you know we are we are who we are. There's so many sort of mature people or sort of um, uh, adults who who you know are struggling and they don't know why they're struggling. And a lot of people I was looking coming into contact with uh, regarding the personal training also had issues around anxiety and emotional health and it was just that whole bag together. Um, so that I then actually stopped my private um, business and actually went back into the NHS as a health visitor and then the opportunity to come and go and work in an ADHD specialist clinic came up. And this was sort of my, my reason for being actually. It suddenly, I suddenly realised this is where my career path wanted to go. So I, I got a role as an AGHD specialist nurse um, and in a service that was already using QB test. And I remember walking in there and just looking at, at the, the QB test reports thinking, whoa, you know, how can this give you any, any information at all? It's just dots and, and squiggles. Um, but actually, once I sort of, you know, got, got my head around it and started learning about QB test as part of the, the ADHD assessment. I was sort of questioning how can anyone do an assessment without QB test and I started to really you know, sell it, not to myself but, but to other clinicians. Um, I then sort of spent about 18 months working in that service and then had to move so I then went back into health visiting um, because unfortunately where I was moving to they didn't have a, a role in, in ADHD. Um, and then QB Tech contacted me and this was like, you know, opened up so many m more opportunities to be able to um, really, you know, sh share my passion around QB Test and how useful it is um, in the assessment of ADHD to our trainings and encouragement and support calls and just regular contact with those services, um, I've seen them really um, thrive. Um, and one in particular has got you know such good results. You know that they've they've actually managed to, to tick all the boxes of of earlier diagnosis, reduce appointments, save money. So you know we know we know, you know I know that in my role as a clinical advisor, I can support these clinics and uh, and help them yeah, develop their services and pathways. As you sort of progress in, in careers, you can sometimes just say, "Yep, yeah, this is my career. I'm not going to, you know, I'm, I'm going to do this forever." But I've just had those opportunities to explore other areas, and as you say, the stars—I think that's lovely—the stars have aligned and come back, and this is where my absolute focus is. And, and th this role that I'm doing now includes all of the experiences I've had in all my other. Uh, jobs, careers that, that I've chosen, but yeah, it's like it's all sort of come back to this central point, and that is now my passion to to you know support people with with ADHD and support those clinicians actually making those diagnoses.